Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 16th episode of Soul Eater. Last episode we finally got our Death the Kid, Patty Liz combo episode. They got to go on a, a haunted boat together. Uh, some of them were more happy about this than others. Some of them struggled more, more than others, but everyone's okay. They're all reunited and they get to take on Krona and Ragnarok, so... Pretty much ended off right before that could really get going, so hopefully they actually deliver us a cool fight and don't just, like, you know, tease us and have Krona just leave all, all right immediately. Hopefully we do get some actual pew pew pew, block block block, stab stab stab, something of that effect. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for, so let's jump on in and see how that goes. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for early access and access to the picture-in-picture -picture version. So let us begin in... Three, two, one, play. We definitely know Krona does not have a sound soul. Ah, uh, yes, our lovely Harbor Town. <laughs> Good times. You know, I did watch the last episode. I don't need this level of recapping. <laughs> chee chee. And then, out of nowhere, just on a boat in the middle of the sea, somebody shows up. Because why not? I don't really talk about it much, but yeah, that first shot we get in the opening where the camera just kind of zooms past everyone, it's a really good shot. Really does a good job of making you feel like we are just exploring this lived-in town and just like going past the characters. Just kind of that 3D element of it, just, I don't know, it's really cool. It really stands out from like typical opening shots. I mean, a little bit of that is continued in certain parts of the opening. Imagine she accidentally gets her paw on your food. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, just the way they both just transform into guns, go from being two people, whoosh whoosh. Pew. Two weapons. Everything about the just idea of that is so so cool to me. And here we go, his amazing pose. It's a good thing he doesn't live in third person. <laughs> like a third person view, you know. Uh, that bad away. You know, not 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 wrong. The hell inside my head. Yeah, well, no, you. <laughs> yep, no hesitation. Let's go. <laughs> Why is he so awesome? Oh, damn. My god, man. He does not mess around. <laughs> it's like, I got my guns now. I'm gonna use them, damn it. <laughs> now, if you saw the scene out of context, you'd wonder who the who the bad guy was. <laughs> oh, right in the cheeks. Both sides. Oh my god. I 
I wish I could be half that badass. Yeah, Krona's not dead yet. Takes more than two bullets to the face to stop Krona. <laughs> we shot you point blank range in the face with two guns. Little little ones, did you talk about the souls or I assume. <laughs> little dragon. Didn't know there were little dragons. Okay. I mean, as we saw, they definitely had a, you know, uh, they were kind of going down a dark path, you know, criminal path. So, hey, yeah, I, I would love to get more detail on this. <laughs> yeah, kick him. Step on him. Spit on him. <laughs> it just... I can't take Patty seriously when she looks like that. She's just so silly that seeing her in that kind of context, it feels like... It just... I can't take it seriously. I mean, Liz, I can't to an extent, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Asking the important questions. <laughs> yeah, why are you being so deep on a -chan? I was just... <laughs> it wasn't that deep. <laughs> Love Patty. Love Liz. Love Death the Kid. Oh, we have to bring out the guns now. <laughs> We did kind of forget about you. <laughs> you have no honor. I don't see that going well for you, but you can try. <laughs> You're just going to blow up your own ship, if anything. Imagine having an upside down ghost head laughing at you. Yeah. Yeah. Nani. Oh, hello. Yeah, what were you expecting, really? Swelling, throbbing. This is truly a broken person. <laughs> this does not look good. This is like a charge net for your final attack sort of thing. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, damn. Not Screech Alpha. Yeah, we are taking the ship down. Definitely going to be less symmetrical now. Any second now. I'm waiting for like a... You know... Something. But I guess it wasn't as powerful as I thought. Okay. I think he just pissed off the boat. Oh. No, no. Okay, no, we did break it. We just very, very delayed. <laughs> They had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Yeah, the boat's going down. What was your first clue? <laughs> she didn't got me, coon. Oh, a skateboard, okay. I was like, what, what's, what's Beelzebub up again? <laughs> it's stupid skateboard. I 
I mean, Medusa is definitely what comes to mind, so he doesn't know about that, though. <laughs> nice thing about having a ranged weapon. Maka can't do that. No, don't bully. <laughs> yeah, Crone is about as skinny as, uh, as probably any skinny would probably be not healthy. How fun would that be to just like ride your skateboard, waterboard across the water? Hey, we can see better now. I mean, I could have guessed that. In fact, I pretty I did guess that. It's literally like, yeah, shooting, air, okay. So basically hoverboard, gotcha. <laughs> don't, don't get distracted by the symmetry. Uh, I mean, that is some glorious symmetry. Even me, who's not a symmetry otaku, I can appreciate that, but we're kind of doing something, man. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand, but I think I got saved. I'm... Every every great warrior has one weakness, and this is his. It's by far his greatest weakness. <laughs> How dare they? I mean, some people could probably relate to that in this show. Soul Eater. Medusa, okay. Uh, there's definitely a butt coming. Although, of course, I wouldn't trust Medusa to give us an honest assessment. So, she's definitely going to the wrong person for an exam. Are you trying to downplay this? Yeah, we know the truth, but she's not going to be honest here. It's so frustrating, like, this is not the person to go to. <laughs> Having fun there, Maka. Need a need a massage, perhaps. Again, I would not take anything she gave me, unless she, you know, asked me to in the right way, in the right outfit. Yes, I know. Did he do that? Because I, I feel like... I, I'm trying to remember. I don't think he's ever done that. <laughs> maybe maybe once. I'm trying to remember. Cause I think I remember I'm talking about it to someone. <laughs> Although it could have been... <laughs> Either way, this has made our very butt hurt. <laughs> that ladylike walk. Flawless. Really? Is there something going on here? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, he's not stupid. He's already had reasons to suspect something was up here, so...
internal medicine. That is kind of a red flag. That is a good question. Like, how much does he know? Because he definitely knows enough to suspect something. I just don't know to what level. <laughs> it's mostly the same, yeah. I just add a little die to it. She's definitely a decent actress, that's for sure. <laughs> or... Oh! Getting called out here! Man, he does know more than I thought. Or at least suspect more. Because it could just be like a, you know, a bait question. See how she reacts to it. Like, you might not be sure yet. But... <laughs> but yeah, she's not gonna <laughs> she's not gonna fall for it though. Like she has no reason to admit it here. You know, especially if he has no proof. <laughs> well, you you break it, you buy it and all that. But he definitely suspects. You can definitely <laughs> I guess it'd be hard to hide that completely. <laughs> Thank you, Medusa Sensei. Reminded me of this feeling called fear. That is definitely something to consider. Even if you know, but like without a shadow of a doubt, that's a witch. You can't just run in there and you know attack her. Like you gotta really decide which what's the best course of action here. Because he's not like a he's not a black star, right? He's not a Reckless shonen protagonist, you know? He's an adult. And he'll handle it as an adult. Have we seen that character before? Night Nigus. Ah. That's the thing, we need evidence. Medusa's smart though. She's not gonna make that easy. Okay, we have a little bit more time in the episode than I thought we did. Don't ignore me, Erika. <laughs> Beats the phone, I guess. I'll say down, son. Okay, so we're just like in the other side of the world. Is that what that was supposed to imply? That was a very slow, unsettling smile. Mentally, physically, she's ready for a nap. Okay, we are here. Okay, she's a gotcha, she's a weapon. Okay, I should have figured that. <laughs> but it comes with a little knife. I'm a little bit nervous, though, how this is going to go. <laughs> and now I'm dead, so... How cautious was he really? Does not look like it. This very much looks like a witch's home. Oh, this could be fun. It's like, today Stein Sensei was looking at me, I think he likes me. 
I wonder if I should confess to him tomorrow. Yeah, it's so embarrassing. Oh no. Oh no. Somebody about to die again. <laughs> oh, we're okay. Short timeline here. Time frame. There was only one. There you go. Yeah, I knew they were going to blow up. <sighs> Oof. Tadpole bombs. I have to give her some of my tadpole bombs. Well, Medusa rather, but... I mean, I'm sure they're okay. One of them was already dead, the other was the knife. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. Really important question. I, I feel like it probably could. Chitty cut chitty. I, I didn't really know this before, but is that kind of a catchphrase of his? Because he definitely said that before. But, yeah, very interesting stuff. I would love to know the story behind those socks. <laughs> like, why, why, why? It has to just specifically be to trigger death the kid. I can't think of any other reason why Maka would wear those. Like, it's possible she was almost late for school and just in a rush put on whatever socks she could find, but... I find that doubtful, knowing what I know about Maka. She's definitely, you know, Yuto say, like, she's a very, I'm like an honor student, like, she wouldn't, I don't think she would, I don't think that would happen. So I think just Death the Kid pissed her off at some point, and she decided to wear those to, to trigger him. I think that's, I think that's what it is. That's my head cannon until I get a real answer. But okay, that was the 16th episode of Soul Eater. And uh, yes, this episode, we definitely finished off our boat arc. That's what I'm, so I'm going to call it. Uh, we did get to see some, some of Death the Kid fighting Krona. Not quite as much as I was hoping for, but definitely enough to where I don't feel like teased. You know, if that makes sense, right? Like, man, he just went hard on Krona. Man, like, some of that, some, some of the fast-paced bits of that, the early bits of that fight, like, you could throw it into an AMV or something. Like, if you were making a solid AMV and you were trying to put in the best action, cool moments in it, I think you, I think that would be part of it. I think you would include that. Like, he was just pounding Krona. Like, just some of those shots were so good. Like, I don't know, just, I feel like Death the Kid is definitely my favorite fighter in the show. Like, or... You can't really refer to the weapons themselves as fighters because they, they're used in the fight. So if we're talking like Black Star, yeah, you know, Black Star, Maka, or yeah, Black Star's a, Black Star, Maka, and Death the Kid, like are obviously our trio protagonist um, sections of the show. Like, you know, Maka looks cool with a scythe. And as a general rule, I do prefer like more 
like the closer to hand-to-hand -hand combat you can get, I usually prefer watching it from a battle choreography standpoint. So you'd think, you know, Maka would be my number one as far as just enjoy watching them fight. But like, I don't know, <laughs> it's Death the Kid, man, when he gets those two guns and just goes ham with them, it's, it's just, it's so cool. I can't think of a better way to describe it, just, just, it's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's literal perfection, right? But, but I do enjoy watching Maka fight as well, you know, don't get me wrong, but. Unfortunately, Mr. Ghosthead kind of put an end to things early, but, you know, what we did, what we did get in the fight was really cool. We got some more Patty, Patty Liz flashback stuff back in their delinquent criminal days, you know, back when they were lost before. Death the Kid found them, took him under his wing, however you want to describe that. But, yeah, just seeing Patty look like that, <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite something, right? But... But we also had, like, yeah, Liz misunderstand Patty. You know, she says, what I was asking was if that person is a boy or a girl. But, you know, Liz and I did not have an answer to that. <laughs> but, but yeah, like, like I said, the show obviously uses the he pronouns for it, but since, you know, in the subs, but obviously Japanese itself does not have, pro, does not use pronouns like that the same way. Like, they do have a word for he or she, right? But it's not used in the same way, if that makes sense at all. But, so you can very much have a character speak without any kind of verbal indication of what the gender is. And I'm pretty sure that's what they've been doing with, with Krona. I mean, I think Krona uses Boku, but, like, that's not a guarantee of anything either. But, but yeah, the show itself technically has not given us an answer. So that's why I'm still, like... You know, I don't want to commit to one pronoun, if that makes sense. But, not like it's a big deal either way, but it is definitely an element of confusion. An intentional element of confusion going into the show. But, but yeah, boat's been taken down. We got out of there on this cool hoverboard. <laughs> the, the boat, the, the the spirit head that we left, a very, very butt hurt, definitely. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, kid, the kid's... Um, Greatest weakness rearing its ugly head again, going towards that that sun because it was just basked in the middle of symmetry in the sky, and yeah, you know you, you just you can't resist such a thing. But the the black blood in Maka continues to be very much a thing. I say continue. It was just, it was brought up like last. Well, you actually, I think it was episode before last episode maybe, because uh, yeah, it was before the, the the exam. But she did come up a little. But somebody. I think it was Medusa. Somebody said that she didn't see any black blood in there anymore, I think is what she said. But, but, uh, because she gave her some medicine. What did she say about the medicine again? Yeah, these pills promote the effects of black blood. So definitely bad. I think we could agree on that. But, uh, yeah, Medusa, Medusa, Medusa. She is a snake in our midst. Luckily, we've, you know, some people have been noticed this, right? Like, Stein, Stein, he's got it figured out. He's kind of, he's, you know, it's got Sid helping out, kind of figured things out, trying to get some proof to give to their Lord and Savior, Shinigami Sama. But, like, they don't have it just yet. Medusa obviously knows that, you know, he's, he's, on, the, he's on the trail. I mean, he literally confronted her, asking her if she's a witch and all that. She definitely tried to play it off jokingly as, as best she can because she doesn't want to, like, admit it, obviously. But... Definitely, it's, it's, it's a situation where they, they both know, they know each other knows, you know, but they just have to, like, keep up appearances and work towards their goal in the, within that framework. But <laughs> you got to love Maki being triggered about Soul talking to her about the, the whole demon thing, the Oni thing. But, again, I don't remember if we actually did that or not, like, because I remember, I, rem I mean, I remember the scenes of Soul, like, you know, interacting with the demon in his head. I, I remember those bits. I don't remember for sure if he ever talked to anyone outside of that about it. I just can't quite remember that, sadly. But either way, Maka got triggered by it, so it's, it's amusing either way. But So I'm sure we'll get an answer on that if she, if she does confront the soul about it. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's more or less everything to say about the episode, except for a bit of a, a, a hint, a teaser they gave us near the end. Basically, he said, not good. If this is put into action during tomorrow's Eve festi fest festivities. 
So tomorrow, like already putting a very, this is like an immediate threat. Like something's being planned to do. Medusa's going to make a move. We have very little time to do anything about it. Like we don't really have the leeway to find some evidence, you know, show it, show it to Shinigami Sama, show, you know, get, get all that. Like we don't, we don't, we don't have time for all that. So it does make the question, what exactly are we going to do about this? Oh yeah, there's other big bomb that dropped on us near the end. It's not important. Near the end, uh, because yeah, because it's something about a something about a Kishin being by their side, and what Death the Kid basically asks, you know, does that have some connection to why you can't leave DWMA? And then we see kind of a bit of a uh, like almost like a veil over it with some spikes on it as well. Very interesting, but but yeah, the way he describes it, it does seem like it could be one of those things where. He exists as kind of a, a working seal, right? As part of like a like a you know like like a seal, like you know, any kind of like a spellbinding sort of thing to keep an evil force in check. That certainly has happened in works of fiction before, right? Like uh I wish I could come up with a good example of that off the top of my head, but I can't. But it is definitely a good question he's asking him, for sure. Especially if we if something does get unleashed. Right? In the future, which is certainly a possibility. But that's kind of what we're left with, right? You know, Medusa's there. Causing problems. Probably going to cause some big problems at, you know, at like a festival or whatever. Right? And we just kind of have to do our best. Put a stop to it. I mean, what else really is there? But I'm just glad we got our... Got some Death the Kid stuff to... to but... Got some backstory, you know, on, on uh, Patty and Liz. So a lot of good things came from this little, little arc here. But Krona's still around, still a problem. Medusa's still around, still a problem. Immortal Dude, I think, is still around, still a problem somewhere. Right? I've not seen him since that episode where I think he, like, fell in the water in ice or something. But I assume he's still going to be a problem at, at some point. <laughs> I don't think he's out of the picture forever or anything like that. But... But, uh, but yeah, good episode, you know, finishing out some stuff, kind of uh, introducing some new some new stuff to be worried about. So served its purpose as an episode fairly well, I would say. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.